Okay, I'm just verifying on this 23DAP4. Uh, I cleaned the switch in my uh, meter here, and uh, I went first. I went to the uh, milliamp scale, and I'm already up about 700 milliamps. I looked away for a minute, and I swear the filament was out, and it, it came back on. So something's screwy here. So if I go back, that's about four volts. I go up to five volts. Oh, the voltage goes down because the current is going up. So, okay. We're about five, six, seven, almost 800 milliamps. I'm going to give the neck a tap here. No, we're still drawing uh, quite a bit of current and not much voltage there. That's way too bright. We'll go down to 600 milliamps. What it's supposed to draw. And we're, we're about 3 volts, just like it was doing in the set. Let's put it on the tester here. Okay, I've got the filament set, 6.3. I really hate to go up to 6.3 on this thing. Eater cathode shorts. Says it's good. Also says good. We can set cutoff. And emission. I swear this tube tested good. Okay, well here are the results, anyway. It does not show any shorts. I'm able to set cutoff, and it has weak emission. So, it does appear that the filament is shorted on this life test. Mm, that filament's awful bright. If I go down, the filament back down to like four volts, three, three and a half, four volts. Still in cutoff. The emission reads about the same. Over here is a brand new old stock tube, double boxed, and we shipped this uh, Greyhound bus. I've never shipped anything by Greyhound bus before. They seem to have lost this at the depot, but it was found. Uh, the tracking number again was an issue there. Uh, this was nicely packed. The gentleman must have a machine 
to uh, stamp the staples in and it looks like he made his own double box for this and and drilled holes drilled holes so you can pick it up on each side so I'll open this up and give it a test over 50 staples later on that top piece and uh, certainly is a this certainly is the way you should package a CRT for shipment I believe this is a, a channel master. Get it out and take a look at it. Okay, you can see in the corner some of the label is missing, but it's a 23 DAP for. Uh, I'm not sure if this is rebuilt or uh, we'll find out. And we even have particle board in here. Okay, we'll get this one hooked up to the tester next and just see how, how it does. I believe he said he already tested it, but so it is a channel master 23 DAP for all new materials and parts used in the manufacture are new except the envelope. Okay. Three year warranty. Give it a shot on the tester here. Okay, we'll bring it up to uh, 6.3. Okay, we'll just test it at 5 here. No shorts. Set cut off. I don't know why this tester tests this so low on emission. Let me check this on the other tester. This is set up correctly. Socket 4. One eight six point three and seven two three. I don't know why a new tube would test like that. I swear it didn't do that on the other tester. I may get out the uh, B&K and try this. Of course, we're only at 5 volts, so we'll bring it up to... We'll bring it up to 6.3. So it cut off and emission still hangs around the same. Interesting. Okay, I've gone ahead and attached the DC power supply here and we'll take a look at what uh, the tube's drawing as far as current wise. I've turned the voltage down, we'll turn it on. We'll slowly increase the voltage up. The tube is lighting, yes. Okay. Switch over to amps. 
and that's just about 500 milliamps. So if we just go to call that like 6 volts there, it's drawing as you see just over a half a milliamp, a uh, 0.5, half an amp. So at 6.3 it is operating with the correct current draw. Okay, this time I'll pull out the 467 B and K and this has an asterisk next to the, the call out which means set the G1 to 70 volts whereas I believe it's usually 50. I have the socket attached, I have my filament set so we'll uh, I'll set it up. I'm going to set my heater for 6.3. I set my G1 to 70 in this case. And the tube is lit. Set cut off. Which I'm really not. The cut off is way up. If I increase the G1, the cut off goes down. Let's go back to go back to our G1 at 70. I'm really not able to set cutoff, so I'll just leave it down. I'll put I'll put the cutoff to normal. There we go. I'll just bring up a little cutoff. Okay. All right. Then we'll go for the emission test. One more time. Let's seventy. 6.3, we set cutoff, and let's do the test. This checker says that tube tests very good, as it should. I don't know why the, the send core, but I've seen that before. Okay, let's put this on the uh, other tube over here. Lights very bright as we know. Okay. I know this tube tested okay. And set cut off. We're able to set cut off. And we'll go for emissions and it's down okay it's down yet it's very bright so I don't know why the send core is testing the way it does but that's a good tube so for now we'll just place this back in its container and when we get the chassis out of this one and clean this one up a little bit we'll install this tube in it. And I believe this is the TV with the missing capacitor or the unknown capacitor that was floating around inside. It's a capacitor that was just floating around in the chassis that belongs somewhere. But okay, that's it for the CRT testing on the 23DAP4 23-inch Motorola.